combustion is a unit process in which oxidation reaction takes place. However, not all oxidation reactions are termed as combustion. Example, uh, oxidation of toluene to benzaldehyde, oxidation of hydrogen chloride to chlorine are not normally termed as combustion process. Combustion is a chemical reaction in which one of the reactants is oxygen from the air and the other is a fuel, whether it is gaseous, liquid, or solid. Combustion is accompanied by the evolution of light and heat. And thus in industries, it is generally, generally used in the generation of heat to supply energy to the process industries. So we have complete combustion. The complete combustion of a fuel means that all of its com all of its combustible components are gasified. All of the carbon is burned to carbon dioxide. All of the hydrogen is converted to water and all sulfur to sulfur dioxide. So the organic fuel's complete combustion is represented by the equation as shown where W, X, Y, and Z indicates the number of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur respectively. So let's have an example. Diesel where we have C12 H23. So the 12 represents as W and X uh, is equal to 23. And there is no Y and Z for this uh, example. So we have here, we just need to substitute uh, 12 to W and 23 to X. So here, oxygen and sulfur will be cancelled out. So, 1 half multiplied by 2. Here is the W and then X. So, we ha we don't have a value for Z and as well as Y. So, it will cancel out. There, as well as, yeah, the Z, the Z here. So, overall, we have C20, C12, H23, plus 71 over 4, O2 will yield to 12 carbon dioxide plus 23 over 2 water. So, three theoretical oxygen. So, it is the oxygen required for complete combustion. Remember, it is for complete combustion only. So, we actually have two methods on how to compute for uh, theoretical oxygen. So, we have your method 1. So, the individual balance equation for the oxidation of each combustible is written. And then, it is actually the sum of all oxygen used in the complete combustion. Remember, it is the sum of all oxygen. So, if here, we have here the formula. So, theoretical oxygen is equal to the sum of the product of moles and the coefficient of oxygen. So we have here an example. Determine the theoretical moles of dry air required for the combustion of one mole of refinery uh, gases containing 6% 6% hydrogen sulfide, 5% hydrogen gas, 57% propane, 2% carbon dioxide, and 30% butane. So, we just need to write the reactions for this one. So, and dito, we have, we can actually use uh, the equation that we used earlier para mabuo natin tong reaction. So, base uh, base uh, 
the given, we have uh, 0.6 or 6% H2S, while on the other equation, no, we have 5% H2, and then we have 57% uh, propane and 3 per uh, 30 percent butane so we just based it on the given so using the equation theoretical oxygen is equal to the sum of the product of moles and the coefficient of oxygen so we have here for example 3 halves. Nakuha yung 3 halves dito kasi 3 halves dito sa first equation multiplied by the number of moles. Plus, sa second equation, we have 1 half oxygen. So, multiply natin doon. Plus, the second uh, third equation, we have 5 oxygen. No? 5 as a coefficient of oxygen multiplied by 0 0.57. And the last one is 13 over 2 multiplied by 0 0.3. So, substituting, we have this value. So, our theoretical oxygen will be 4.915. So, remember, uh, yung first method natin is um, yung moles of oxygen based on the reaction multiplied by uh, the coefficient of O2 no? and get the sum of so let's proceed to method 2. So here, elements of the fuel are broken down into equivalent atoms of carbon, sulfur, hydrogen, and oxygen present. Each atom, C, the carbon, needs one mole of oxygen for full combustion. Each atom, sulfur, needs one mole of oxygen. Each atom of hydrogen requires one-fourth mole of oxygen. The total moles of oxygen in the fuel are subtracted from the specifications of oxygen to give theoretical oxygen out of the air. So before the volume of oxygen is extracted from the air, the fuel first uses the fuel along with it. So as a result, we have the following equation. So theoretical oxygen is equal to at C plus at sulfur plus at hydrogen over 4 minus moles of oxygen. So let's try to use this equation having the same problem earlier. So determine the theoretical moles of dry air required for the combustion of one mole of refinery gases containing 6% hydrogen sulfide, 5% hydrogen, 57% solu uh, propane, 2% carbon dioxide, and 30% butane. So, we have here gas and then yung percent uh, composition. No? We, just, we just write in a table, tabular form, no? table form, H2S in components. So, just beside of it, just uh, write the composition or percentage of each. So, our basis here is one mole of gaseous fuel. So let's check first at S, so at sulfur. So check natin dito kung ano yung may sulfur. So we have your iisa lang naman. So dito siya sa uh, hydrogen sulfide. So at 6, kasi isa lang naman yung sulfur. So times 1 lang siya. Okay. So yung total, we have here 0 0.06. So at C, hanapin natin lahat ng may carbon. So, for here, example, so, tatlo. So, we have 0 0.57 times 3. So, we have 1.71. And here, we have 0 0.02. Isa rin siya. Times 1, we have 0 0.02. Here, in uh, butane, we have 0 0.3 times 4. Kasi apat yung carbon. So, we have 1.20. And the sum of it is 2.93. So, let's go to the next. We have at H. No? So, in, asan yung mga may H natin? So, we have here, so, 0.6 times 2. So, we have 
0.5 times 2, we have 0.10 or 0.1. And so we have here is 0.57 times 8, we have 4.56. Dito sa CO2, wala tayong H. So, 0 lang yan. So, and here, the last one, uh, butane, 0.3 times 10. So, we have 3. So, we have a sum of 7.78 at H. And the last one, at O2. So, we have here, asa na may O2 natin? So, we have si O2. Okay. Kasi O2 siya, so O2 din to, we don't need to uh, multiply it by 2. Buti sana kung at O lang siya, then that's, that's the time that we need to uh, multiply this 0 0.02 into 2. Since O2 ito, O2 rin naman siya. So, copy at, uh, copy lang natin. So, 0 0.02, 0 0.02. So, based sa given, wala na tayong ibang may oxygen. So, we have a sum of uh, 0 0.02. So, we can now compute for the theoretical oxygen. So, we just need to substitute. At C, we have 2.93 plus at H, at F, 0 0.06 plus at H, which is 7.78 divided by 4 minus moles O2, which is 0 0.02. So, we have 4.95. Uh, 4.915, same as yung computation or same as with our answer uh, earlier using method 1. Using the sum of the product of moles and uh, the coefficients of oxygen. So we also have here theoretical air for combustion. So this is the air that contains the exact amount of theoretical oxygen. So, air from the combustion calculations is assumed to be 21% uh, oxygen and 79% nitrogen by volume. Remember, it is for, or it is by volume only. Kasi meron tayong ibang value kapag it is by mass. So, the nitrogen in air is non-combustible and acts as a diluent to the oxygen in the air. So, there are two methods of the yeah, discuss na naman na natin yung methods on determining the theoretical oxygen. So, we have here an example uh, for the theoretical air. Uh, a furnace is fired with petroleum containing 80% carbon, 13% hydrogen, and 3% sulfur, 1% nitrogen, 3% oxygen. So, determine the moles theoretical air required for the combustion in 1 kilogram of oil. So based dun sa module, we just we, we need first to calculate for the uh, theoretical oxygen. And then from the theoretical oxygen, using the 21% oxygen, we can calculate for the uh, theoretical air. So we have here, <coughs> so na divide siya at 12, bakit kasi? Uh, the given is assuming that one kilogram, assuming one kilogram oil. Remember this one, this this composition needs to be converted into moles. So eighty divided by twelve, which is the atomic mass of carbon, plus three sulfur, so three let's say uh, three kilograms. Okay. Or, or yeah, divided by 32 plus 13 over 4. 13 is H no, over 4 minus 32 kasi, remember, it's moles O2. So, we need to, and oxygen is 16. So, we need to multiply it by 2. Para makuha natin yung number of moles ng O2. So, 3 over 32. And we have here, theoretical oxygen is 0.09917 So we have here for us to get the theoretical air we need to multiply the volume of air with respect to the volume of oxygen in air So in 100 we have 21 
uh, yeah, we have, for example, in 100 liters of air, we have 21 liters. So, ganun lang. So, we just need two. Actually, there is, we can also try uh, 0 0.09917 divided by 0 0.21. So, it's the same with this one. So, our theoretical error is 0 0.4722. So, we also have here percent excess air. It is actually, or the theoretical air is not sufficient for complete combustion. So, the carbon monoxide and hydrogen formation in the flue gas and the presence of unburned combustible indicates an incomplete or partial combustion. So, in order to complete the combustion reaction, excess air supply or excess oxygen is needed to calculate as follows. So, we have here the following uh, equations, working equations. So, excess O2 is equal to actual oxygen supplied, usually given to minus the theoretical O2. So, percent excess air will be this one, excess O2, divided by theoretical O2 times 100. Or, it could be supplied O2 minus theoretical O2 divided by theoretical O2. Kasi nga, this excess O2 comes from this one. Nanggaling siya dito sa actual O2 supplied. So, dun din, yun din siya. So, we have here, or same through with this one, percent excess air is equal to excess oxygen over supplied O2 minus excess O2 multiplied by 100. So, there. So, kung meron tayong complete combustion, we also have an incomplete combustion. So, what is a complete incomplete combustion? So, incomplete combustion of fuel represents a loss of heat since this would have been given, given off for additional power use had the fuel been completely burned. So, uh, indicators of Indicators of incomplete combustion are the presence of carbon, monoxide, hydrogen, and the soot in the exhaust gas, as well as the unburned combustibles in the refuse. So, remember, kapag sa combustion, or kapag sinabi sa problem na it is incomplete combustion, so, technically, we have uh, carbon monoxide and hydrogen and soot. Okay. So, that's the indicators of an incomplete combustion. So, that's all for our topic for combustion.